Hey, this is Mike from Shadow Map, and I want to show you specifically Shadow Map Studio today. And Shadow Map Studio is, of course, Shadow Map solution for architects, for urban planners, but also for real estate developers, basically for anyone who wants to edit custom 3D data, upload custom 3D models to Shadow Map, and also see how the effect would be of the sunlight disposition. So let's get right into it. What's new, you will be able to see um, this new button on the top left corner with the pencil icon on it. And if I click it, I will be brought into this panel menu. And I have um, the title here, my projects. And also you can see that right now I have two out of 10 projects active. So 10 is the limit by default, but of course I can always upgrade and get more projects. As you can see down here, create eight more projects on your current plan, but upgrade for more project slots. So that's definitely an option. But right now um, within my project or within my um, account, I have two projects and one of them, what's also cool, you can see this thumbnail preview with them. So I have um, one project that's called check and one project that's called custom home preview. And first I want to show you this feature of Shadow Map Studio. So if I just hone in on, on this building here, right here. And you can see that in my preview of the first project, the check project in here, I have a different shape for the building right there. And if I click on my project, then you can see that also my viewport changes. So right now, instead of this building that was there before, I have this different shape right here. And this is a custom shape. You can see um, within my project, I have these three different um, functions like custom models, building overrides and custom shapes. And this right here is an example for a custom shape. So I just selected, I clicked this custom shape and you can see um, this is the shape name, shape 7AB74B. And I can also delete it by clicking this spin icon right here. But also I can edit it by moving it, rotating it or changing its height even. So if I, for example, want to make it less tall, let's say it's a building that's only 12 meters tall, I can just type in 12 and then it will be displayed as a 12 meter tall building right here. And the cool thing is, of course, that real time it updates the shadow and sunlight simulation in here. So it's fully interactive with the shadow map environment. And if I was to delete this object, so let's um, actually click the bin here, then you can see that in its stead, right now there is nothing here, but also I have an item listed underneath some um, building overrides. And what this means is I can click here and I can um, also delete this building override. And what it does, it brings back the original 3D data from the shadow map 3D building data. So now I can select any other building, for example, and you instantly will see this, um, this button here for hiding the building. So if I click this button again, then it will also be hidden again. And I can also hide the buildings right next to it. And now I could create my, my new custom shape to fill in this lot here. So let's actually press this button, create new shape, and it will immediately change to this um, new tool with the yellow dot at my cursor. And then I can click on my map and just draw a new shape. But let's make um, a different shape than what was there before. Let's make it a shape like this. And whenever I want to finish this process of drawing the new shape, I just need to reconnect with my first dot or first vertex. And it will automatically create this um, 3D shape or 3D model for me, which is really handy, of course. And it will create it at a default height of 10 meters. So if I want it to be taller or shorter, then of course I can change that height. Um, like you saw before, I just need to select my, my shape and go to the height option. And then in there, I can make it a taller building as well. And the cool thing, I can see the effect it has on its surroundings immediately again. So this is um, one way to use um, Shadow Map Studio to preview your own projects by also drawing some quick previews, some quick custom shapes, just to get some very, very fast feedback for how things would change with your own project. And then of course you can save the changes and you could also embed or share um, this, this project. So the cool thing is, um, let's first of all, save the changes. Always a good idea. 
And also what you will notice is of course this custom model upload button right here. So this is what I want to show you next. But now that my changes have been saved, let's show you what the embed and the share button do. So embedding I can switch to like, um, I can select which size um, the embedding frame should be. So it's going to be an iframe and I can of course um, copy this iframe and then I could embed it on a website or like another project. And it will give me this um, preview as well. This might take a little while um, to calculate, but once it's done, then it's um, very easy to embed it. And right now I have um, this um, preview that I can embed on a website or a project. The other option is to share the project. So of course, um, for sharing the project, it will also create a preview and then I could copy the link. So right now the preview is um, right there and I could copy this and just share it with um, somebody on social media or like um, in an email and they will be able to see the same, same as in this preview window. So really, really handy for collaborative um, projects, obviously, and for giving some quick preview to your clients or to your colleagues. And now um, let's actually go inside the other project because inside the other project, I want to show you the function of uploading your own custom 3D models. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm in this cool little area here. Um, I have some residential area, I have a park right here. I also have some office style buildings or commercial buildings in the background right, there, right over there. And I have this um, 3D studio model that's um, rotating and indicating that in this position, in this location, there is a custom model that's going to be loaded. So right now I can see my custom 3D model in here. And also I can see how it's um, already taking effect on my scene. So the shadow calculation and shadow visualization is in place and in effect. And this model is pretty cool because um, it's got some transparent parts as well. It's got um, a lot of detail and some interior. It's got furniture inside and it gives me a good way to preview the functionality of shadow map and custom models. Yep, and there it is, my new building in the scene. It's probably still too large because um, you can see these buildings are probably like two stories, whereas this seems to be a bungalow. So probably its height would be more like four meters. And yeah, now it looks much more like it would fit in the scene.